Hey guys, welcome back to How's It Doing Garage. So today, on this video, um, we're just gonna go lollygagging around. So the Metro Cruise in Grand Rapids is this weekend, so we've decided to go. I've never been before, it's kind of like a little Woodward cruise, but on the other side of the state. Um, we got a buddy of ours that organized like a little uh, mini truck metro cruise thing so we got some premium parking spots so me and Anna decided to go she's actually going to drive her blazer to Grand Rapids it's only like an hour and a half hour 45 minutes from us anyway and I'm just going to trailer my S10 so I've never been um, I hear it's a great show or great event so um, yeah so I'm gonna get the old S10 loaded up and uh, and uh, we'll get hitting the road.
driving the S10 dyno. They won't let me drive it. So the guy is having all kinds of issues getting it up there because, you know, it's a piece of crap. So, <laughs> ha. So we're back from the Metro Cruise. I hauled the S10 with my little uh, 2001 GMC gas truck. How miserable was that? <laughs> you people that haul with gas engines versus diesel, I feel for you. But uh, anyway, so we're back from Metro. Had a blast, had a great time. The S10 did good. Anna's. Uh, Jimmy did great. Uh, she cruised it there and cruised it back. No problems at all. Um, so we did put the S10 on the dyno. A um, couple things that I want to go over about the, the S10 going on the dyno. Um, first off, uh, I don't want to sound like one of them guys, but I kind of think there was something maybe a little wrong with the dyno because... The motor that's in the S10, I kind of built it almost spec for spec on the Blueprint power adder engine that they sell as a crate package. Um, I believe that crate engine comes from Blueprint, tested out, naturally aspirated, somewhere just shy of 500 horsepower. Granted, it's at the flywheel, but that's naturally aspirated, no boost. The S10 is currently getting... Uh, six and a half to seven and a half pounds of boost to it through that blower because i've that does have it uh under driven quite a bit but um it put down 378 horsepower and 460 foot pounds of torque um i kind of don't believe that like I, yeah that's just way low for me i have uh O2 sensor that I've put in the, um, I have O2 sensor that I put in the exhaust of the S10 that I, that's what I helped tune it. Um, I even leaned it up a little bit. It was a little fat, but I leaned it up a little bit before we took it to the show. So, you know, it's running a little lean, but, um, it should make, it should make at least 150 horsepower more than what, what it got on that dyno. I'm not trying to sound like one of them dudes who, oh, you know, the motor's huge, blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying, like, I don't know if the guy wasn't loading the dyno up right or doing doing something right because it was a uh, uh, um, donation uh, deal where they didn't charge you a flat rate to put it on the dyno. They just, you know, just donate us some money. So all I had was 60 bucks on me, so I gave him 60 bucks, and, uh, you know, a normal dyno run is... $250 so I don't know if they just didn't load it up like they normally would or what but I don't know so um it is what it is at this point I guess the uh S10 ran great drove great um uh, all that we did cruise around quite a bit used about a tank of gas but um yeah so the Metro Cruise great show if you're in uh you know the Midwest you want to go check out something that's not quite as busy as Woodward but still kind of Woodward feel, I, I recommend doing the Metro Cruise. So, uh, yeah, that was a good time. Thanks again to Mark Johnson 
and the Michigan No Regrets guys for dealing with all the logistics of getting them premium parking spots down there. Uh, that was great. We had premium parking right on, right on the street, and that was that was awesome. And uh, we're definitely gonna do that again. And uh, yeah, so throw some comments down below. Let me know what you think of the old Metro Cruise, and we'll catch you guys on the next video.